How to install the official build of Descendant ROM on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the official build of Descendant ROM on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Another thing, for full disclosure i do have the international variant of the poco x3 pro but the process is going to work on the indian variant of the poco x3 pro as well and i am going to switch from pixel experience but the steps mentioned in the video are going to work even if you are switching from stock me ui as well so here it is i do have the poco x3 pro which right now is running pixel experience official build based on android 11 however the steps will remain the same even if you're jumping from stock miu i so first of all let us talk about all the files which you need now the files are linked in the description of this video and you need the firmware for your variant of the poco x3 pro whether it is vayu whether it is bima the firmware for that will be vayu in and then you need the rom itself which is your descendant rom for the poco x3 pro do note this is the official build as well next up those of you who are running custom roms based on aosp you can go into settings security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into accounts and remove your google account now those of you who are running stock me ui you can go into settings and then you will go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account and once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account in both cases once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing Removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to power off our device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up till you see the recovery logo and we are using TWRP for the purpose of this video so again turn off your device press and hold power and volume up till you see the recovery logo here it is team win splash screen which means we are booting into our custom recovery which is TWRP the screen did turn off all you need to do is press the power button and then swipe to unlock first of all we will go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik data and cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files if you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder first of all select the firmware and then add more zips and then select the rom itself which is your descendant and then swipe to confirm flash now once the files have flashed successfully we need to make sure there were no errors so here it is we are flashing the firmware and if i scroll down i have script succeeded result was one similarly next up we are flashing the rom which is descendant official build and again everything was flashed and script succeeded result was one next up we are going to tap on the home button next up we will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things and then the next thing we are going to do is reboot system and there it is we do have the descendant boot animation on our poco x3 pro which means we are booting into the official build of descendant rom based on android 11 on our device and the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick
and there it is we are on the home screen let us open the application drawer play store is there which means google apps are baked in let us go into settings this is the ui for descendant a bit different let us go into about phone and here and i can go in the android version bam here it is device model is poco x3 pro android version is 11 this is the official build of descendant rom installed and working on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.